Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic Studios. I'm continuing the Blender to Unreal Basic tutorials. Uh, today we'll be creating a simple crate which we will UV unwrap, just a basic UV unwrap texture and import into Unreal Engine 4. This will just be a simple um, crate used for basic prototyping and no way will this be a production ready model. So uh, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to add a normal plane. Go into the side view. Go into orthographic view. Rotate it. Um, if I don't describe what I'm doing, you can see here at the bottom left which buttons I am pushing. Go into the front view again. I can tab to go into edit mode. Control R to do a loop cut. Let's grab that loop cut, move it to the side, do another one, do the same thing. Oops, there we go. There we go. I just want to go into face mode here, select the center face, go into the side, E to extrude and extrude it out one unit there. Here we go, the side of our crate is set up. So what I'm going to do now is select all of this. Push U for UV mapping. I'm going to do the smart UV project. There we go. And then I'm just going to split this view off so I can go into the UV image editor on separately here. I'm going to open a texture that I downloaded before from cgtextures.com very nice um, resource for textures there we go and if I go into material mode here you'll notice nothing yet first things first I need to add in a light it's a simple hemi light Click up here and just change the shading mode to GLSL. Get rid of that. And select your model again. We need to set up a material for it. So first things first, click material tab here on the right. Click new material. Just give it a name. We call it Crate01 Test. And then go to the Textures tab. New texture. Here at the bottom we'll just select the texture we already opened. And there we go. Now it looks completely off and we will be fixing it a little bit. So just select the center face. You'll see it's selected here in the UV image editor as well. I want to make it look more like a square. There we go. And I'm just going to rotate it as well. And then it's just scaling it so it looks correct. I'm just going to move it off to the side here. Do the same with this over here. Select it, rotate it. Uh, just also just make it a bit smaller. There we go. Let's do the same for this one. Go. I could just probably scale this one a little bit bigger so because it does look a little bit off. There we go. Now, these pieces over here uh, they don't really matter to me, but I don't want them to overlap my UVs, so I just want to see where they stack up. Select and control L. Is it control L? Yes, to go into linked mode. I'm just going to move them here, scale them smaller, because there we go. 
there we are that is set up that's your basic texture already set up there so only thing I need to do now is just to duplicate this so I'm done with the UV image editor I'm just going to join these two sides together again there we go and I'm going to duplicate this and rotate it 90 degrees and just move it off to the side. You'll notice that it did move a little bit so I'm just going to use Shift S to uh, snap the selection to the grid. Here we go. Select both. Shift D to duplicate both sides. Rotate this now 180 degrees. Move it roughly to the same side. Shift S, snap selection to grid. There we go, I've got my side set up. Now it's just going to be the top piece. Now we'll, let's select any face, Control L, selects all that is linked to that face. Shift D, rotate 90 degrees, move it up. Do the Shift S again and Shift D rotate this 180 degrees there are other ways to mirror um, but this is just as it's just a great it's just a quick tutorial and just using the basic features of blender uh, there we go so uh, but I just want to demonstrate here I want to remove some of these vertices as um, because I did duplicate this now a few times you'll notice that there is a few vertices for every corner so to do this is go and highlight your entire model so I'm pushing the wrong button there by pushing A and then just here at the uh, left in edit mode just click remove doubles what it will do is as you can see at the top it remove 40 vertices so it merged the ones that were duplicated on uh, the same grid se um, uh, selection. So there we go. Now this is done as is. Uh, so I'm just quickly going to save this. Just a quick thing to note that uh, Blender does not save your image files uh, along with your blend files. So if you're busy editing or painting an image in Blender itself and you do not save it separately, you will lose that information if you quit without saving the image itself. So just for future reference. Okay. So let's go. Oh, yep. We're going to have to export this by FBX. I did this test before, so this is just me doing it again. A uh, few things to notice, change your forward to negative Y for forward. Your smoothing group should be edge and leaf bones. i check that one. So these are things I covered in the previous tutorial. Uh, it's just your basic setup for exporting to Unreal Engine 4. There we go. Alright, so we're done in Blender. We're going to go back to Unreal. Or go into Unreal, click Import. And there it is. Now, Import Materials and Textures. It will do this automatically if you set up your materials and textures correctly in in um, in Blender. So if I click Import, you should notice that the crate should update now. And if you open it, voila, it looks exactly the same as it looked in. Blender. I just close this out and just drag this into the world. Now I did not scale it down so it is the same 2x2x2 two by two by two meter uh, scaling that I found for my other objects here. And I could just push play. There we are. And it is set up. No collision in it so you can walk straight through it but that is your basic setup for um, how to get a textured model into Unreal. Now as I said this is just for basic prototyping, no way I finished. Um, next tutorial I'll cover a bit more in depth on uh, normal mapping and proper UV uh, unwrapping. Um, the thing to note is that this to keep you, you should try and keep your textures to a uniform of two by two. So um, 
average texture size to be 1024 by 1024 or 2048 by 2048. This is 1600 by 1141, which is just the completely off scale, but for a prototype model, um, it's not a problem. Um, so that's it. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.